My name is Davina Simo. I'm a sculptor, artist and sculptor. And I'm Kim Beal. Today, we are looking up close at Barrier, a painting by Leah Salmons in the Anderson Collection at Stanford University. Davina, what was it that drew you to this painting? You know, lots of painters paint the ocean and lots of painters paint um, everyday objects. But I think there's something in her work that's like when you look on the side of her paintings, like they each have different approaches. And when you look at the front, there's so many different layers. And, you know, I'm more of a sculptor, so I don't get like... Like, I love painting, but I, I'm not someone who's always talking about brushstrokes. But with her paintings, they feel like objects because they're a smaller scale and they have so much, you know, they're shown with her objects. And so you kind of see the same approach to paint in the sculpture as you do in the painting. And so I've always um, thought of her painting as being very sculptural. I wonder if you can see any of that even here on the screen. Well, I think the way the screen translates it is kind of interesting because it almost looks like a digital image the way it appears. Like it looks like there are different layers of opacity, almost the way you see in Photoshop. And that is something she does in these paintings in real life. Like they're they're painted in a gray and it's not that it's an opacity. It's like a different color paint. The that like the material of the painting was always something interesting to me. Like I used to try making paintings, but what I really liked doing was making the stretchers. And then, you know, the painting itself was like sort of a weird thing. But I'm always interested to see if like the illusion of the painting is like carried over the edge or if you're supposed to see it as like this flat image or like if it's like a place for loose color. I think it's like sometimes a very beautiful part of the painting because it, I think my favorite paintings, it's like used as this like liminal space where it has like notes or little dabs of paint, but where it's not like hiding that it's an image, but it's also like functioning as an object. So those are also a place of comparison, I think, that they kind of heighten Mm -hmm. the experience of um, the illusion in the center of the painting by including the way it kind of either falls apart or comes together from the edges. I think that for me, like the openness of this painting feels very sculptural to me and feels like this space where I'm invited to like insert my own, like have my own thoughts. Like, I don't feel like she's telling me something in this painting that's like, um, a one-liner or like, I don't know, just so many paintings you see where it's like this person, it's like that person's style. And I can appreciate someone's style in painting and I can appreciate a lot of those things. But for me, the paintings that I really can like love are, you know, like I love this work. And I think it's partially because I feel like it's, you know, asking questions that I'm asking also. Yeah, I feel similarly as a writer or a historian that I there are paintings, there are artworks that really speak to me. And I, for me, it's not because I have a connection maybe with the way that they're made, but because they I have a connection with the questions. I think right. someone's concerns about the world might be similar to the, the concerns that I bring to the world and therefore to the artworks that I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I love how she talks about this not being an observation from nature, but that it's a found image from old magazines, books and photos, and it's already like removed from nature. I think that sense of remove has could have a lot to do with the title barrier and that it also, to me, feels very much like our somewhat like alienated, like cultural moment, like whatever contemporary life, like that there's this like sense in which there's, you know, you see things in photos and you develop a memory from that photo. And sometimes you don't remember the thing, but you remember the photo and You know, there's this like reality to books and magazines and photos, and there's like a reality to our experience of them. And then our experience of that other thing that they're describing is like, maybe not even, maybe we've never even, you know, like you live in a city, your experience with the stars is kind of rare. Yeah. You know, it's special and you can visit that memory more often in like books and images and paintings and like, you know, movies. Well, thank you so much for talking about this painting and for 
I'm so glad that we could experience something in between this intimacy and distance looking at this painting together.